Don't go to McDonald's this Friday. That's the call from a union after the fast food company walked out of pay negotiations. It's the latest hurdle for campaigners who are aiming to scrap the use of so-called zero-hour contracts where workers are left with reliable, left without reliable regular shifts. Joining us this morning is the National Director of Unite Union, Mike Treen, who's been leading the negotiations until they suddenly stalled uh, yesterday. It seemed though, Mike, like they were progressing well. What happened? Well, the, the company did come back with an offer that was a uh, that was halfway there. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, they talked about guaranteed hours for hours worked, which is important because it was a shift from their previous position about rostered hours, which um, uh, we can't monitor or enforce or so on. So hours worked was important, but they had uh, nothing, uh, they couldn't respond or ask about the uh, secure and regular shifts issue. So there's always been two elements to the claim. One is a sort of a guarantee of hours, but then is a security of the shift. So you know what, what you're going to be working from week to week. And so they, they thought that simply dealing with the issue of hours would be all that we would need to discuss yesterday. And when we said, no, we need to discuss this as well, which the other companies all recognised and addressed when they came to us with their offers. So Burger King have offered um, mm -hmm. secure shifts as well as secure hours. Restaurant brands have, have offered to trial secure shifts at different stores with the union. But McDonald's just had no opinion or didn't appear to uh, uh, have any thought given to this, this subject. And then when we queried it, said we needed more, they, they got a huff. You know, it was as if they were expecting us to suddenly sort of roll over and say tickle our belly just because they've made one part address one part of the issue. And that... It's not good enough. That's not bargaining. I think we could have reached an agreement yesterday. Because McDonald's isn't here on our show, I'm going to read you what they said. They said, we question <coughs> their commitment, as in Unite's commitment, to the bargaining process, particularly in view of the Industrial Action Plan advance for Friday. Unite need to stop making excuses and negotiate in good faith. We remain committed to reach an agreement. So really it's coming down to, as you say, this difference between secure hours and secure shifts and the balance that has to be reached uh, in, the, in that process. Yes, we think we think it's there's two parts to it, yeah, definitely two parts to it. People people want to know what they're going to be working from week to week. That's it's not just that they want to know that they're going to get 80% of their hours that they normally work, but they want to know when they're going to be working. And if you don't if you don't know that going forward you can't plan your life. And, and given that restaurant brands could could come to the party, does it sort of baffle you that baffle you that McDonald's walked out and said we can't even go there? Well, they've they've been they've been playing a game with this negotiation in my view that we've had twice as many days negotiating with them as with the other companies. They're the last to the table in terms of a meaningful offer and uh, and they've, 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 they've refused to pay to, uh, refused a pay increase for, for, for union members um, um, while giving pay increases to non-union staff to undermine the union. I think they've they're, 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 they're so trying effectively to effectively punishing union stuff, yes. and that was what, that was in fact one of the other issues, isn't it? The fact that you can't advertise uh, on notice boards to, to join a union, um, yeah. and that can't be made public. Yes, this is this is the twenty first century, and and people should have a clear choice to join the union. Uh, and the collective agreement when they join the company and or, or join the individual employment agreement. And, and, and McDonald's doesn't allow that. And they won't allow us to put notices on the notice board without them censoring it beforehand. Well, this is nuts. And I think they need to grow up and, and, and start treating the union and workers mm -hmm. who are members of the union with respect. So what's the next step, Mike? Obviously, you, you know, no, yesterday's negotiations went <coughs> nowhere. So you're looking towards Friday as, as a boycott? Yes, yes. We're... we're, we're we're a minority. We accept that fact. We're a minority in this company. Um, the, uh, Eighty percent of the stores are owned by franchisees, and they treat someone joining the union like it's a personal betrayal. So it's yeah. very difficult for, for 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 people to join the union, for people to to take action. And because of the zero hours regime, if they take action, uh, they can have their hours cut. So that's a sort of a double whammy. So so we're asking the public to say, well, we're not going to go and shop it at this store. There's plenty of others who are doing deals. Burger King's doing a deal with us on this issue. Um, restaurant brands have done a deal. Carl's Jr. is there. They can, mm. you, you can go there. Just give, give Maccas a miss on, on, on uh, May 1st because it's actually International Workers' Day as well. So show a bit of solidarity for these very young and often young and vulnerable workers. Mm. So a symbolic day to have it. Yes. Um, the fact that you did make so much traction and progress and, and found a solution with restaurant brands, does that give you any hope that perhaps you can get there with McDonald's as well? We will get there with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. We told them at the beginning 
thing, in fact, we told them two years ago that this was going to be the critical issue for this year's negotiation. We will get there this year. They will, the people of New Zealand will make them deal with us, I think, in a yeah. responsible way. Yeah, well, we're certainly on side, Mike, so thanks we're for coming on much. to talk to us this morning. Um, best of luck, Fed, the next time you're around the table. Yeah. Um, hopefully it goes better than yesterday. Thank um, you. Mike Train from Unite Union. And as Mike said, you don't have to miss out on your fast food because, uh, you know, all kudos to your restaurant brands, your pizza huts and things and Burger Kings for, um, for ditching the uh, zero mm. hour.